Hey folks, how y'all doing? I'm doing a video today on uh, pipe lights. And it's, these are these are LED pipe lights. Got them a while back, but just finally installed them the other day on my one, my one of my boats. It's a 16 foot low uh, Big John. Um, extra wide model, modified V in, in, in the bow. Uh, I've had a boat since 1987. Bought a brand new 1987 and did a lot of modifications to it, but trailer lights, what a pain. For years we have bunks, we'd raise the lights up, but you want to keep the lights out of the water. So the best thing in the world to do is get up in the air. And I got to looking online a while back and I found, uh, it's called pipe lights, right here. And we got the LED version, these are incandescent we got the LEDs that just seem to hold up, last a whole lot longer. Right here. But yeah, great product. And it shows a boat going down in the water. And just keeps them up out of the water. You can see what, when you're backing up the boat at the boat trailer, you can see what you're doing. So awesome product. And really, really easy to install. All right. So we'll get back to the product. And what is important is um, to keep these things out of the uh, water is they get bad. They get, every time you turn around, lights are going bad, the bulbs, oh God, my grounds. You, and you're tracing back to your steps all the time. It's a pain in the rear end. So you get them up, get, get them up out of the water and you're backing up, you can see what you're doing. Plus the PVC pipe, when you're in the wind or whatever, or at a, at a bad boat ramp, you can guide your boat on there a whole lot easier. Your, your, your gunnels will hit the sides of PVC pipe and guide it right up on, on your boat trail. So I'll show you where the original where the lights were before I took them off. All right. Originally, the boat lights were down there. And so was the license plate. I want to reposition the license plate somewhere else. But down here, uh, see there's boat holes, a boat hole to the to the starboard, yeah, to the starboard side right there. There, right there. That's where the lights were down there, way low. No good. I mean, can't see the lights when you back them up more. It's a float on trailer. It's aluminum uh, float on, and over here on your port side. Is where your uh, um, lights were. Yes. Uh, anyway, the lights were down there. We moved them up here. Right there. I'll give you a closer look at them. Awesome. Good stuff. And we made a bend. And I'm going to use a hot air gun. And we've been them. All right, let me take give you a closer look. Okay, y'all. Right here, down here, we made some modifications. We took a three on this particular boat mo model trailer. We took a a aluminum unistrut and made a spacer right there, as you can see. And there's our U-bolt. We still got to cut them off. And they're too, a little too long. And we made a spacer and we took a bracket, galvanized bunk bracket, um, about a two inch. And then we came up, still gotta tidy up my wiring. And there's my ground, right here. White ground. And that's going through the, uh, a three bolt number 10, stainless, going through the, through the uh, beam of the trailer to give you a good solid ground. Okay, then we've got the, the bracket going up and in, inside the bracket, we've got a bolt, it's a hole inside the bracket and then we, we went ahead and then uh, I drilled a hole through the PVC, cut the, cut the length, then we, uh, that way so you can secure it so it won't roll around on you. And there we go. We took the air gun, hot air gun, 
and heat it at that, that point slowly all the way around and bend it. Didn't turn out turn out perfect, but it's the way we want it for the boat. Got like a little got like a little uh, indention right there in the PVC, but that's okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. It's better than putting another fit in there. Um, so, but it's really, really, really simple. All right, I'll show you how how these things come apart and all that stuff. Right, and the the, the, the directions are really, really, fairly easy. I mean, great instructions with wiring. I mean, basically, if it's brown, that goes to black. Um, it's it's really simple. Red goes to green, and on the port side, same difference. Um, right, it's uh, t it shows you right here which, which which one which wire goes to where, and all that good stuff. So really good instructions. All right. And this takes a one-eighth inch drill bit. This takes a one-eighth inch drill bit, drill down here, and it comes with supplied screws in the bag, screws, connections, all the stuff. But I use my I, mean, I use heat shrink. And uh, screw it down here, screw it up here. That way, you can get, yeah, that way you can get your light if you ever need to work on it. But it's pretty simple. This is a cap I made up. Get them at Lowe's or Home Depot, anywhere you want, or your local hardware store. And the light. I hadn't. I just slips off and there's your wiring going through there and it nice LED lights nothing better than LED lights so when you slip them puppies down like I say we're gonna glue them I'm well, not glue them I'll screw them drill and screw these are 1 8 inch drill bit and there's a number 8 supplied in the package And just put the cap on. We cut this about five inches. It says maximum six inches, so we cut around five. And this takes about an inch and a quarter uh, by the time you go up inside your cap. So, yeah, it's it's awesome. I'll show you the wiring, what color goes to where. I know I know every boat trailer is different. But I'll show you. Okay, right here. We got our brown. That goes to black. Green will go to red. Right here. And your white will be your ground. And that goes right here to the frame. The best way you can get it. And here's that bracket that I was telling y'all about. That goes up in there. It's like a bunk bracket for the side of your boat. And it's galvanized. This is going to hold up. And it's a 3 by 5 inch, um, three, or 3 by 6 um, square bolt. U bolt, square bolt. Did, did the job. We're, we're going to cut them off with the wafer wheel right here, make them shorter. And cut this stainless steel bolt off right here. That's probably about a four inch right there. That's the back side. But yeah, and we'll go to the port side. Uh, we'll walk around the boat. But yeah, it's a, caught some big sharks over the years, y'all, on this boat. Red drum, sharks, flounder, catfish, rockfish, bluefish. You name it, sheephead, all kinds of nice boat. And see that modified V. We've had her in the ocean several several times. She got to pick your days. Got a high sides. We extended this. This was originally to about right here. 
and then we extended it and made it bigger, bigger casting platform. And there she, there's where she is in there. Life jackets, all everything, all your storage goes up in there. Wire loom, to where we the lights up. Yeah, she's she's seen some server, but we built that console. It's homemade. Built the windshield. Everything else homemade. Got rod holders everywhere. Rod holders there. Got four back here. The side mount right here. It's everywhere you can imagine. All right. And there's one of the bunks that the uh, guide on bunks that the bracket came off of. And that's what you want. All right, anyway, port side. Um, port side brown. Brown goes to, get a little bit of, there you go, that's uh, a little bit better. But yeah, the brown goes to black on the port side, as you see here, and yellow goes to red. And as, as you see, that seat shrink. Yeah, okay, I had to get back, <laughs> get it, get it uh, zoomed in, focused. Um, anyway, yellow will go to red. And as you see, white will go to uh, your ground. And that's a through haul bolt. A through 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 the um, th through haul through bolt. Went through aluminum, and that does a super job. And I see the bracket with a spacer. This is aluminum. Um, Unistrut. That's what we use for a spacer. Comes up here. The metal comes all the way up in the, all the way up here. And then we draw the hole and bam. But anyway, we still gotta put some wire loom in that. And uh, wire loom and then tidy up the wire really good. So we put it on top. We don't want nothing in the bottom. We can protect it going down the road and that kind of stuff. But yeah, folks, this, uh, these are really nice pipe lights. That's what they're called. And they got reflectors back here. And we're gonna put more reflectant on, on, on here, reflected, reflectant tape. Um, so you see when you're backing up at night and that kind of stuff. It's called pipe light. Pipelight.com. Pipe light Pipelight.com. And they are worth the money, every penny of them. I think they're around 80 bucks. Plus shipping, but worth every penny of it. So, yeah. And here are the lights. That's a nice Mariner right there. That's a 94 and a half. 1994 and a half, still running like a clock. Made by, you know, Mercury products, Quicksilver. Mercury Marine Mariner. 25. Making this boat scoot. Uh, here are the old lights are with it. Right here, and there's brackets that held it in there. And it's a matter of time before they go bad. Fresh or salt water, it doesn't matter. Once once salt water hits that, it's like it's like instant frost corrosion. Lights are done. They don't last too long in the water. So it's better to keep them up out of the water so you can do the thing. Adjust that around a little bit. But yeah, these will act as guide-ons too. When the boat hits those, they'll guide right up on the boat. All right. But like I say, plenty of instructions in here. Um, Pipelight.com. Yeah. Just want to share that with with y'all. Pretty simple install. But it was just so hot yesterday. We were. Dad and I were wiring this thing up and uh, gave you plenty of extra wire with it for me and both lights. So you got plenty of wire to run to where you got to run. 
But yeah, these are nice. Really nice. But yep. Hot air gun. We used a hot air gun and just took a um piece of wood in here and I went around this side all the way around and we just bent it to where we wanted it. We didn't want them sticking out like this. See the original angle? It'd be down here like that. That wouldn't look too good. And every boat trailer is different. So we took them and bent them. So I'll give you another view. And Dad got, Dad got a deal on this trailer. He's at a uh, place in Chesapeake. Budget boats. Um, but as you see, the lights back here. You got plenty of link where you can see what you're doing in the truck or SUV when you're backing up. I got in a lot of my other videos, of my uh, my shark fishing videos. That's the, this is the boat I caught the, all the sharks out of. Um, caught some big ones out of it over the years. But anyway, that's got a nice V. Anyway, all right. Let's wrap this video up. But just remember, pipelights.com. As you can see, pipe lights. Dot com. They somebody had a great idea when they did that. All right. Yes, that's that's sweet, folks. Okay, folks. Got any questions or comments? On the pipelights.com, just give me a holler. Great product. First class product. They will last you a long time. The LED lights are just first class. So, yeah, highly, highly recommended. But hey, thank you all for watching. And this is Kenny, our KVSMC. Many thanks. God bless and Super Five. Please subscribe, like, and share. Let me know what you think. Any comments you want. Hoorah. Y'all take care now, folks. All right. Bye-bye.